Good morning. Welcome back to our channel. The kids are on their way to school, but we are extra excited today. Why? Because Why, we're going to Miami, Florida. We are flying today. Our trip begins. We are starting the day actually with school pictures. We didn't video yesterday because I needed a full day to pack. Getting the family out of here by myself has been no small undertaking. But these two got fresh haircuts for school pictures today. Ava wanted to do something different this year. Last year we did curls. So she asked if we could do French braid buns. Like when you do a French braid and then a bun. So beautiful for her first grade school pictures. So wish them luck. They've got school pictures this morning. Then they're going to go to school for most of the day while I finish up all of the packing. And then we are headed to Florida. Jared, Britt, and Daddy, we are coming for ya! <laughs> All right, guys, popping on camera. It has been a couple of days since you have seen me. I had a very successful event in Chicago with my team members here at Opinion. I have jumped on a plane already. In fact, I've arrived at my destination. I am in Miami, everybody. Yes, you heard me. I'm in Miami. I've got one event that's actually going to last, oh, from about four o'clock to 11 o'clock tonight with one of our big clients. And then Lindsay and the kids fly in this evening. We're gonna hang out with Jared and Britt for Jared's birthday. We're gonna do a little Marco Island. Checked into our hotel, got ourselves a pretty good view right here. I'm right next to the airport intentionally because the kids get in around midnight. I just figured we just need a place to lay our heads because tomorrow morning we're hightailing it going somewhere very special, which we haven't told anyone yet. In fact, part of our trip has been slightly altered. We are doing something at the beginning. So starting tomorrow, we're doing something incredible that the kids have no idea what we are doing and they are going to blow their minds. Secret. So they're going to get in super late tonight. We'll probably be back around like one o'clock in the morning. So I figured stay close to the airport so I could get them and just come back to a, a, a hotel nearby and lay our heads somewhere nice. So we've chosen this beautiful view over here at the Hilton. So I am headed to my event and then I'm headed to go pick up the kids and Lindsay. All right, we're picking up all the kids from school a little bit early today, headed home to finish up our last little bit of packing. And then we are on our way to Florida. Woo! Australia. Woo! <laughs> over here. Ava, Landon. You ready to go on vacation? Yeah. Lando, you ready to go on vacation? Yeah! Let's do it. It's a miracle we made it out of the house without dad's help. Go us. We are on our way to the airport. We are headed to Florida. We are so excited. We are gonna go park in the long-term parking, jump on the bus, get our bags checked in, go through security, hopefully get some dinner before we get on our flight. We leave at about 5 p.m. and we get there at about midnight Florida time because we lose two hours with the time change. So Justin will be there waiting for us in our rental car minivan. He is there. For those of you who have not been around the last few days, he has been in Chicago for work. Today he's in Miami for work. When he gets done with his event tonight, he's gonna head to the airport to pick us up and then it's time for vacation. We just found parking. I think everyone in the state of Utah is going somewhere for Labor Day weekend because the parking lot is so full. We were so grateful we found a spot. Now we're waiting for the bus to come pick us up. Starting to sprinkle a little bit. I was just gonna say how happy I am that we're getting out of this stormy, cloudy weather and headed to sunny Florida, but it's hurricane season, so we know we're gonna have some warm, tropical rain while we are there. But I don't mind the warm rain. I don't mind the warm storms. They're kind of fun. I remember when Justin and I went a couple of years ago and got stuck in a rainstorm on the beach. One of my favorite memories of the trip. Okay, that bus ride took forever. So we are feeling a little bit rushed. We are hurrying to get to the check-in counter so we can get these bags checked and get on our flight. All 
right, you know when sometimes luck is with you and sometimes it is not. We got stuck in the longest line to check our baggage. So now we are in the longest line at security right now. It wraps all the way around. So we are saying extra prayers over here that we are gonna make it on this flight. Well, that might be the closest we've ever been to missing a flight, but we are here at the gate. We made it just in the nick of time. We are boarding the plane and we are all sighing a deep sigh of relief right now. officially on the plane on our way to Florida. I am dying at how close of a call that was. I think we got there and she said that there were 17 minutes until the last person boards. But we're here, we're so excited. The only downside is we didn't have time to get any dinner. We actually tried in that 17 minutes, but every line was so long. Someone told us that the Cafe Rio line was 30 minutes long. Let's just say the Labor Day rush of traveling has begun and the airport is insane. So many people in every line, every security line, every check-in line, everywhere. So we're gonna get some snacks on the plane and Justin's gonna have some dinner for us when we land. There's one thing that always holds us up when we're in security. What is it, Land? Vibration. <laughs> Even if he doesn't make the metal detector go off, they always have him sit down and they do all sorts of tests to make sure his orthotic braces are safe when we get on the plane, right? So that was another little detour today. One of our suitcases got flagged because Ashton added some glasses cleaner to his suitcase at the last second. We ended up doing it as a carry-on. Anyway, I just kept making a joke that if anything could go wrong in the airport, we experienced it today. We've arrived, we're here, we're in Florida. Headed to baggage claim to get our bags. That was a really great flight, not a lot of turbulence. We were a little nervous. The pilot told us in the beginning that we were gonna be flying over some stormy weather. That was probably one of the least turbulent flights we've ever been on, but it did feel like four and a half hours. <laughs> it might've even felt like five and a half hours. <laughs> but we are here and we are so happy to be here. If you're wondering what an airport looks like at midnight, It's empty. We're pretty much the only ones here. guys, I wrapped up my event here in beautiful Miami and I am on my way to pick up the kids. As you can see, I'm in the car, I'm in the airport. As we speak, they have landed. I repeat, my eagles have landed. The eagle has landed. The eagle has landed. Anyway, so they are here and I have not seen them since Saturday. You guys, I left Saturday to fly to Cedar Rapids to surprise my parents. And here we are now, many, many days later, meeting the wife and kids here in Miami. Guys, we are going to have a blast. Yeah, man. 
Cage ride. Wee! <laughs> Keep going, Lando. <laughs> All right, guys, this is what happens when you pull in at midnight, which is really 10 o'clock Utah time, and you didn't eat dinner because you were on a crazy mad dash rush to the airport. Delta has snack boxes, which aren't really like meals on domestic flights. <laughs> this is what happens. You order things you've never had before at one o'clock in the morning. Eckers, tastes like the best food I've ever had. Eckers before. cheeseburgers, everybody. Darren says it tastes good just because it's so late at night. Morning from Miami. Welcome to Miami. Will Smith. Bienvenido a Miami. Welcome to Miami. I think we say that every time that we arrive here. We are. Actually, we're not in Miami, everybody. We are in Fort Lauderdale, Florida to visit. We have family here. I don't know if you guys have heard of them. Jared and Britt. We're so excited. We actually stayed near the airport last night because we got in at midnight, ordered the kids <laughs> some dinner at one in the morning, which ended up being kind of a fun adventure and memorable. Like to. It was so late. We tried ordering food on the plane, but they only had a couple snack boxes. Anyway, we were laughing because it was really like fast food checkers and the kids thought it was like. Turn asked this morning, he's like, hey, can we go to checkers again? <laughs> I'm like, I think you were tired and hungry. It was pretty good. Their fries were actually pretty yummy. They had almost like a, a pancake flavor to them. They were pretty good. So we got to bed super late. I think Landon was talking about how that's the latest he's ever stayed up in his life. He loves Oh, it just made his yeah, trip. 2 a.m. is the latest. 2 a.m., baby. That's not my friend. But it was only midnight Utah time, so it wasn't that bad. So we all got a good night's sleep, got up, packed up our stuff, and now we are headed to Fort Lauderdale. We're actually going to brunch on the ocean. Ooh, Brittany a lot got of <laughs> Brittany got us a reservation at a little restaurant on the ocean. We're so excited. We're so excited to see Jared and Britt. That's why we came out to Florida, is to see Uncle Jared and Aunt Brittany, who we love so much. How much do we love Uncle Jared? Uh, wow. <laughs> you guys, how much do we love Aunt Brittany? Woo! How much do we love Uncle Jared? God loves. We're teasing. Just kidding, you guys. We don't love you. We love our I mean, we love you. We love you. We don't love you. We don't love you. We like you. you love is a stretch. Stop it. We love Uncle Jared. I am stopping this right now. We love him. Of course we love him. Jared across the street with a giant Our Life in Holland sign. We are dying right now. <laughs> 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 He's so excited there. He's so excited there. Wee! Jared and Brittany. Oh, wait. Brittany and Jared. Jared and Brittany. Brittany and Jared. <laughs> right? Didn't Turin like turn into a man overnight? Oh, man. Uh, yeah. He literally he did. Oh my god. Oh, and Stop it. You guys are gonna match. No. Oh my gosh. No. Okay, that was actually for Lindsay. <laughs> oh. I legit thought that was for Justin. Yeah. Love it. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, so oh wave life. Are you wave kidding me? Yeah. You guys are so cute. I love it. All right, 
you guys as if we didn't love Jared and Brittany enough already. Well, they just gave us the... Well, well, Brittany. <laughs> Stop with the jokes! They just gave us the most incredible welcome to Florida. As if the sign wasn't enough. Oh. They had souvenirs And guess what? For all guess what? Us. Real quick, guys, in case you didn't know this, it stands for Our Life in Holland. Subscribe down below. <laughs> <laughs> they had souvenirs for every single one of us, and then they brought us this incredible breakfast place on the ocean. Oh, yeah. Can you see the ocean back there? Oh my gosh. Most beautiful view. And Turin and Jared and Brittany just ordered a brunch board that looks like it's going to be an experience. Just this giant board of all sorts of breakfast foods. Guys, I want to put a question out there to all of you today. Here's the question. Comment now down below if you think Jared and Brittany should stay in Florida or move back to Utah. Oh. <laughs> Okay. See, I want to live by them, but I think they should stay here, so maybe we should move to Fort Lauderdale. I'll tell you my vote. I think they should stay in Florida. There's nothing for them in Utah. Oh, that's not true. This no, is so funny. they should stay in Florida, though. I love you guys. But comment down below. We'd love to hear your feedback. Ava with the Nutella pancakes. Oh, Woo! Oh, yeah. Ashy with the classic scrambled eggs and bacon. Oh. And toast. Lando, chicken tenders. Oh, yeah. Here comes the big guy. Oh, yeah. Brunch board. Wait, where's yours? <laughs> this wow. is for Turin, Brittany, and Jared. And I am immediately oh. regretting not getting this. Oh, oh. This is for sure Thank what we should have gotten. Good choice, Turbo. Justin and I are sharing some avocado toast and eggs benedict with short rib on it. Okay guys, we just used an excuse to come over here to go to the bathroom, which we're actually by the bathrooms right now. So we have a couple different parts to our trip. And the second and the third part the kids know about, they're super excited for. The first part has have been- Have we even told YouTube yet? No. The first part has been a little bit up in the air. Jared and Brittany weren't sure if they were gonna be out of town for Jared's birthday. Well, it turns out they're gonna be here. And we have all, like within the last couple of days, planned a last minute trip to- Disney World. But the kids have no idea. They have no idea because it's actually about three and a half hours from here, and they, they just I have no idea. So we have come over here to the, pretend we have to go to the bathroom, which technically I actually really do. No one in our family has been to Disney World at all, except for Justin did when he was a kid, long, long time ago. So this is a first. The kids are going to perfect flip. way to fill the time because our plans to go down to the Keys kind of fell apart a little bit, right? So we decided, you know what? Labor Day over weekend. It's over Labor Day weekend. It's exactly. kind of tricky, right? So we called an audible. Lindsay and Brittany figured it out. We got it. Amazing Airbnb. All together. Right in magic. What is it called? Magic Kingdom magic. area? I don't know what it's called. Anyway, but we're gonna wrap up and surprise the kids because they have no idea it's coming. Here we go. Guys, Justin's a really good sport because all we have are mini ears, no Mickey ears. And I just came up with a little jingle. It's going along with it. Hey guys, should we get ready for a picture? Sounds like right yeah. here. Okay. Alright, three, two, one. <laughs> We're going to Disney World for a few days, then we're going to come back. They'd probably go rather go to Jared and Brits than Disneyland. Holy! Disney, Disney World, baby! Woo! Woo! Can woo! I go? Yes! Yeah! It's the most magical place in the world. It is! Yeah. Can you look on the house? Girl, yeah. what do you think about that? <laughs> it's going to be insane. <laughs> for everyone! Did you know that we were going to Disney World? Yes. You yeah. did win. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 You guys come with us? Yeah. Yeah. When are you guys gonna come with us? I told you they yeah. wouldn't be excited unless you guys were involved. <laughs> we're all going to Disney World. How long are we gonna go? How long? Yeah, I think two days, right? Two days. Two days. Two days. Spend Jared's birthday there. What are you guys doing? Why is your shirt off? Huh? Why is your shirt off? It's party time, baby. <laughs> Vacation mode! You guys, the kids are in shock a little bit, but I have to laugh because 
the excitement level went through the roof as soon as they heard that Jared and Brittany were coming with us. It actually went significantly higher. <laughs> like, I don't even know if they were. Worked. Yeah, at first I thought that they were disappointed because they thought we were going to Jared and Brittany's house. And once they found out they're coming with us and we're all staying in a super fun big place, it was all good. Guys, we are off on our road trip to Orlando. We've got Ashley and Landon in the back seat because Turin. <laughs> <laughs> because Turin and Ava are riding with Jared and Britt and then we're flip-flopping halfway through. But you guys, Brittany and Jared are unbelievably, incredibly amazing. Wonderful, incredible, ridiculously, unbelievable, uh, un un unreal. wonderful people, we one of a kind, <laughs> never been born. But really though, Britt's got cold waters for us and this incredible bag of road trip snacks. I mean, it is like heavy, you guys. It is full to the brim in the cutest Fort Lauderdale beach bag. Like, is this real life right now? Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Could tell this be, or is this a fairy tale? It's a fairy tale. They better be careful how nice they are to us because we might, you know, just keep coming back over and over again. You? Again? Oh, hey guys. Oh, we have to see you there. Drag race. Le who? All right, you guys, we are about 35 minutes away from beautiful Disney World, and we stopped at these gas stations. It's actually really cool. Here in Florida, it actually reminds me a lot of Italy. The gas stations are on these center islands. So you got freeway on this side, free over here. So you pull off on the left, which is very different than obviously like, you know, back in Utah, we pull off on the right. Europe is the exact same way though. Europe, you actually pull off into the middle where they've got this really cool facility set up. <laughs> Lindsay's mocking me behind the camera right now. Cool story, bro. They've got stores, they've got restrooms, they've got rest stops, they've got gas. <laughs> I just come out of the bathroom and I just standing in the reef going like this with the camera. I, I have to express myself <laughs> with my hands. <laughs> Anyway, 35 minutes away. As I was telling everyone, it reminds me of Europe. Must have been a really good story. You interrupted story. my train of thought. Cool story, bro. Bye. If you're in town, we've got room for guests, okay? We've got ourselves a two-story, not a one-story, not a one-and-a-half-story, but a two-story. Maybe even a three-story. Little entryway here. Really nice. I love these sconces. Are they called scon sconces? Sconces. <laughs> okay, we got ourselves a fireplace. This is a bedroom. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, this place is huge. Huge. 2,800 square feet of pure magic here in wonderful Disney World. We make our way up these wonderful stairs. Oh, hello wife. The best part is, is that our kids have spent the entire time we've been here so far convincing Jared and Brett to sleep with them. Sure Jared thinks that Jared is gonna sleep in one room with a twin with him and Ava's gonna sleep with Brittany. Okay, so peering down. Oh, hey guys. Oh, hey guys. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, over here we've got ourselves some really nice paintings. Walking now into the bedroom. Second master. Second master bedroom. Nice little seating area over here in case we want to have guests. Got ourselves a nice little master bathroom. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. And then quickly over here into the other bedrooms. This is where the kids will be spending their evenings. We've got ourselves a bedroom over here. Twins, sounds like it. With another bathroom. Very beautiful. Wow, this is awesome. And skis, which is kind of a cool little I just want to point out, out here. that every bedroom has a bathroom. 
So everybody. everyone has their own bed and everyone has their own bathroom. Turn and Ava, beautiful, beautiful views. Four bedrooms, four bathrooms. Guys, this Set place up. is unreal. It's perfect. All right, we are here to get some dinner. It is late at night and we've got to get in bed because we got a big day tomorrow. So Turn likes checkers. He's going to love a place called Burger Bar. So we're going a little casual tonight, but everybody loves a good burger. Justin says it's amazing. Got all our party people back there. It's gonna be a good dinner. Guys, slight change of plans. Unfortunately, Burger Fight's system was down. Not sure how that happens, but we're going somewhere new. <laughs> I swear by the moon and the stars in the sky. <laughs> if that face didn't say enough, head over to Jared and Briss and subscribe to their channel if you're not yet. Jimmy! <laughs> Jimmy, you're my best friend. <laughs> Guys, it is 1.30 in the morning. The kids have been asleep for many of hours now. Jared's done editing. Brittany. And it's his birthday already. Oh yeah, dude, it's your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you, Jared. Happy birthday. birthday don't hit my arm, don't hit my arm. <laughs> Happy birthday to you, new guy. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> And 35. <laughs> okay, but really, we're going Let to this. Disney World tomorrow. Yes, we are. You're going to want to come back. But if you have uh, not checked out Jared and Brett, it's motivation. You're enough. missing out. <laughs> you're missing out, you I mean, guys. Did you see those dance moves tonight? You know, I don't get why he's the only big one that got dance moves. I tell Michelle kind of got dance moves, but another big one got dance moves, but you. It seems somewhat unfair. <laughs> Turn and Ash were just Look watching every, every, every move of his. <laughs> Turn, dead. Turn thinks he's the funniest person in the world, which is kind of fun. He was like, crying laughing on the oh ground. man <laughs> guys thanks for hanging out with us peace we'll see you tomorrow see you guys bye, Love you. bye. <laughs> Justin, if you could dream up any day in your entire life, what would it look like? Matching tie-dye shirts in Disney World? I think just you and bunny ears, <laughs> mouse ears, ruined it. Dang! <laughs> you guys, we are all matching in tie-dye mini shirts and Mickey shirts today. Is there a all better outfit to celebrate my dear brother, Jared Bingham, 35th birthday? Guys, if you're not following Jared and Britt, go check them out. Go check them on Instagram. Go check them out on YouTube. We are hanging out with them here in Orlando for the next two and a half days or so, partying it up, having a blast, staying in the sickest Airbnb. Look at this place, look at that. And you guys, what we didn't video this morning that you're gonna have to go over there to check out is his cute little birthday surprise. Brett has been up since six o'clock this morning, putting together the cutest little decorations and Krispy Kreme donuts, fresh Krispy Kreme donuts. Amazing, in fact, yes. Go check them out right now to see the surprise because it was quite epic. Now we're all just waiting for our Uber and we're heading to the happiest 
place on earth. All right, guys, we're gonna do every single impersonation. You just just say it out and we'll do it. Go ahead, Jared, say it. Mickey. Oh, I'm making a mouse. Goofy. <laughs> Daffy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know this. Minnie. The same as Mickey. Hi, Minnie. <laughs> officially made it to the magical kingdom of Magic Kingdom here in beautiful Disney World with new guy and Brittany on his birthday. Birthday boy! <laughs> we just had the coolest bus party of our entire lives. This we did. cute lady at the front. She's getting us singing. There were she four birthdays to, on the bus. She knew how to raise the roof. Oh, yes, she did. What do you see? Tinker called Seven Dwarfs that we're hearing is a new ride here. I know nothing about it. We're just winging this, you guys. We're just winging Disney World today and loving every second of it. We haven't even got on the ride yet. It's the best ride because it has air conditioning. <laughs> you would think we've already been on Splash Mountain. We have not. That's just sweat. Should we go again? You wanna go do Splash Mountain? Like Splash Mountain. This one you go on a log and you get wet. Yeah, a little. All right, you guys, we've got our very first Disney tree. It is called a brew. Thank you, Gaston. Gaston is the best and the rest is all the rest. Leno, 
Uh, tell us where we're headed next, big guy. Uh, Splash Mountain. So guys, we got ourselves the Fast Passes here. The Fast Passes. You have not been to Disneyland or Disney World, and you're going to go. You definitely, undoubtedly. Fast need. Passes make me so I can cut through the line. So we can get fast pass. Anyway, so we're heading over to Splash Mountain. It's the one thing most of the kids wanted to do here. A couple of rides are in common with California as well. A few are not. We've done one that is not in common with California. We're gonna do a couple more, but we gotta hit a couple classics along the way. So Splash Mountain is next. So guys, we gotta we gotta rewind back to a couple years ago, Splash Mountain in Disneyland in California, when Miss Ava was a little more scared and she goes, What'd you yell? Do you remember what you yelled? I love Disney! And then you went down the went down the slide, remember? <laughs> A little bit different contrast to this year. Were you as scared or was it fun? Fun. Do you want to do it again? Yes. She did yes. the front row. I was so surprised. <laughs> she was so brave. Oh my gosh. Brittany just got pooped on by a bird. <laughs> Look at Ava's face. She was just innocently sitting here. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Is it on my head? Yeah. Is it really? I kind of felt like it like went like this. It's it is foot. not in your hair. I need a move. <laughs> That's what I get for sitting in the shade. It's on your foot yeah. too. Yeah. All right, boys. What are we headed to next, Ashley Bench? Thunder Mountain! Guys, so we went to the fast pass line and the guy could get his machine to work. So rather than having to do a return time and come back, he's like, just go. So we literally walked right up to Thunder Mountain at fast pass entrance. Walked right in, baby. Yes. Here we go.
seafood style because seafood is Jared's favorite and everything is about Jared today. So happy birthday, Jared. We're going non stop here. Ride after ride after ride after it's ride. Amazing. We just have not stopped. So we're going to stop with a little food. And then where are we going next, guys? Space Mountain. Space Mountain. Alright guys, slight change of plans. We are headed to Peter Pan's flight. Lindsay's, Lindsay's favorite Disney boy crush, Peter Pan. Guys, we're crazy to see you in green tights. <laughs> That's funny. Lando, what do you think of this dude? Look down! Wendy, I love you! All right, you guys, we are heading over to Space Mountain, which is an iconic, classic, never seen. Oh, thank you, dear. Oh, yes, thank you, thank you. It's like Mary Poppins like, actually. This is awesome. <laughs> okay, uh, I want to ask, how are you enjoying your birthday? It's the best birthday ever. Well, it's because you're the yeah. best person ever. I love oh you. Oh, my God. I love oh. you, too. I love you so much. That's, oh. You're the best brother. <laughs> you're way better than Sean Brennan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no joke, as we're walking into the park today, I caught Justin with his arm around the birthday boy, rubbing his neck. It was kind of a cute, cute brother moment. It was a cute brother moment. Find, find yourself a brother that will rub your neck. <laughs> Alright, you guys, we keep getting distracted. We can't find our way to Space Mountain, so we did the next best thing. We can get out of here. To infinity and beyond! Buzz Lightyear, Lando. Are you ready to shoot some aliens? Yeah, and then we're gonna do Space Mountain. Then we'll do Space Mountain. All right, new guy. Space Mountain, buddy. <laughs> Guys, this is the ride that all the kids have been begging to go on since we got here. This is gonna be way fun. <laughs> it's in the dark, so we're gonna take you with us, but you're not gonna see anything, but you're gonna hear screaming. <laughs> Space Mountain Girl, what do you think? I love it. You love it. I cannot believe how brave you were. You were so stinking brave. Should we go again? Yeah. All right, you guys, we, we are tired. We reached that point in the day where I've lost my mini ears and I'm wearing Mickey ears now. Everybody's drenching themselves in the sprinklers because yep. it's super hot. Some misters. And I think Brady's almost asleep over there. No, I'm not. I'm not. Guys, like, she we had, I think, like three hours of sleep last night, staying up to make sure Jared's birthday was special. Yeah, you guys, she was up super late. And so. up super early. Dedicated wife right there. But we have done more rides. So many in a row. These fast pass guys, we honestly haven't waited in any lines at all. We just walk up and they just literally just let us in. It's been incredible. Just whipping it on and off any ride we want. It's been awesome. What I don't feel like we've done enough of yet today is Disney stuff. No. Like we haven't seen Mickey or Minnie or. We haven't so found it. gotta try all the unique uh, treats and macarons and all, all the things. We do have to go to New Orleans and get some macarons. Do they have that? Macarons? Here? Macarons? I think they do, yeah. Oh, okay, well, we're gonna go check it out. I found that there's some like loaded tops that I think we need to try. All right, you guys, so we are finally gonna go do a ride that Landon has been begging to do since we got here. A good old classic, one where we can just chill, hang out. In the jungle. In the jungle. So if you actually haven't seen the new Jungle Cruise movie, it's quite cute. So we're gonna go relieve it right now. I don't think Dwayne Johnson The Rock's gonna be there, but I'll be there. So, here we go.
last ride of the day, we had to go out in style. So, we went to the iconic, the classic. Round number two, Splash Mountain, baby. I said yes and I already got drinks. I already got, yeah, on like not even something that wasn't even all that scary. It was just kind of ridiculous, actually. <laughs> Boy, we need to spoil. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be awesome. And you guys, it didn't even rain on us, which is kind of crazy here in Florida that it didn't even rain. Not one drop of rain, and it really was decently comfortable. I mean, it was a little hot, right but in the middle of the day, yeah. Yeah, but nothing compared to what it could have been. Yes. And right now, it's perfect weather. So we're gonna go get some dinner in Disney Springs, which I've never been to before. We're gonna find one of your top three: sushi, Italian, or seafood. Yes. That's where we're headed. Hollywood Studios today. Guys, we've come back for day two at the beautiful Hollywood, Disney Hollywood Studios. We actually, I think you guys heard on yesterday's video, we said we were gonna go to Animal Kingdom. We've decided to actually change that. We called it an audible. Asked around, people said Hollywood Studios is way better. So we only had two days here, so that's what we decided to do. So here we are entering the park now, and this place already is blowing me away. I think it's kind of like California Adventure for what I'm being told in terms of its, some of its rides. So we're excited to explore. We got Jared and Bray with us. We got the whole crew. Are we ready to party? Yeah. going to my favorite ride, Tower of Terror, and it's going to be awesome. I want to see Jared's reaction because he likes roller coasters a lot, so I'm excited to see his reaction. Plus, he's a bit of a wuss, right? You were yeah. saying? Did you call me a wuss? I mean, he, he's like, no, I'm probably not going to go on that. I'm just true of a wuss. So Ash and I did this ride last time. We were in California Adventure, actually. It was the Guardian of the Galaxy ride. Amazing. It was me, Ashton, and Landon that went on this. It was That was it. And it was a bit of a, a bit of a thriller. So we're back here, part two, here in Disney World. Yes. So you guys, we've, re we've recruited a couple extra people. We've got, uh, well, we've got Brittany. Yay! We've got Jared over there, aren't we, Jared? Yeah. Okay. But little Miss Ava decided to be a little adventurous today and do Tower of Terror. Now, she's never done it before, obviously. She's never done the Guardians of the Galaxy either. Yes, yes, in my eyes. And it's gonna be so fun. It makes your tummy go, whoo, and that's about it. Are you ready to be brave? Are we ready to do this? You're crazy, girl, you're crazy. Hey guys, we're, we are next. On a scale from one to 10, how nervous are you? Like a two or a seven? A two. A two? Okay. Ride interview Ava, tell us all about it. Uh, okay. Would you do it again? Uh, sure. Maybe not. Was it scary? Just a little. <laughs> <laughs> Peanut, we're doing this.
this one for you. This is Mickey's Runaway Railway. Woo! Oh, hello, Minnie. Ava, are you ready to dance? <laughs> New guy, Britt. I want everyone to know kind of what we're doing here. We are here. You'll notice the drawn in arrows. We're gonna make our way down to number one. Number one is, well, the first stop. We are going to do Rock and Roller Coaster, Lighting at Queens Academy. From there, we're gonna make our way back up, north, center, heading to number two. That is where we're gonna do Disney Junior Play and Dance. That's for Ava, primarily for me. From there, we're departing, heading northeast, up into the number three zone. Number three zone is actually uh, Toy Story Land, where I'm told Slinky Dog Dash and Toy Story Mania, one of our favorites, is present and open. Is anybody else falling asleep? Guys, if you don't plan on your day, nothing happens, okay? <laughs> number three, once we've completed those tasks, those missions, and those agendas, we're headed to number four. Now, number four is we're going to spend a big bulk of our time. The lion's share of our time will be spent in this zone here. Sweetie, I just want to eat my pretzel. <laughs> okay. From there, number four, we're doing the Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. Did you get tickets, by the way? I did not. You had one job. Okay, so we're... You really didn't. There weren't any. It's, like, really hard to get them. Okay, fa happy families. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> out of the way, I got to film it. I filmed it, dang it! All the way up for me, all the way up and all the way to the left so we can sit the entire tour we've been today. Thank you. All right, are we a little nervous? A little bit. Wow. Okay. Right. You guys doing rock and roller coaster. Ava's a little nervous, but we're going for it. Oh, baby! All right, we are at the rock and roller coaster. We are told this gives us an inverted experience on three occasions. Because I was inverted. Three, everybody. Ava and mom are not coming because we got all the way to the front of the line and they said Ava was too short, which we didn't know. So we're just riding solo on this one. Well, that's not true, actually. We got Oprah in the house. These two over here. Woo! How are you? It's the Everest and Stacy with your hands and arms with good legs. Exclusive live broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> Turbo, are you ready? Yes. Oh, yeah. Kind of. Ready? Woo! Don't we just get the start? Ah, uh, here we go! Amazing, right? Awesome. Awesome,
<laughs> all right, Tur, what did you think of that one? Amazing. I would say of all the road courses we've been on, this is the best one. Hands down, that is one of my favorites. It's so good, we're actually going to go again right now. That and Space Mountain. Yes, yeah, Space Mountain. The, this was just different though, man. It was just like totally, totally different. The way that it starts, the way that it accelerates, it was unreal. The acceleration was crazy. Let's go again. Well, we got to the top of the rock and roller coaster. We're about to get on the ride, and they said that Ava was this much too little. Sure. Too short for the ride, so Ava and I are over here at the Mickey and Minnie runway. We're gonna do it one more time. Ava loved that ride. What was your favorite part of that ride? Uh, the dancing. That was my favorite part! That was the, the ballroom dancing. That was my favorite part. So we're gonna go on it again. It actually moved when we went to, to do plays and stuff. <laughs> Did you? We did the ballroom dance all over again. You did? How much did you miss me though? <laughs> okay, we're stopping off to get some lunch. Brisket grilled cheese at Woody's Lunchbox. Looks amazing. Who's putting this over there? It's spit. We're, in, <laughs> we're waiting to get on the Slinky Dog Coaster. Is that what it's called? Slinky Dog Coaster. Slinky Dog Coaster. We, we did the whole rock and roller coaster twice. Ava and Lindsay disappeared. Mickey and Minnie. Mickey and Minnie. Amazing. Guys, this park is amazing. Yeah, this is incredible. Walking into Toy Story Land was like, wow. Isn't this cool? Yeah, it's beautiful out here. So, we're going to eat some lunch. According to the app, this is one of the best meals in this park. So, we're going to go. some like tachos, tater tots with all sorts of loaded stuff on them. So, let's go eat some grub.
you guys. We have made it over, but you can join us here. We have made it over to Toy Story Mania, which is one of our favorite games because there's an ongoing competition between Lindsay and I. I always win. I always win. I would say always, however. My money's on Lindsay. Okay, yes, I actually always lose. <laughs> Or I guess they should say the outcome of our challenge was... I won! Not true. Was, he was killed me. me. Was me. Absolutely killed me. Second place goes to Brittany. No, I second. Oh, Jared. Sorry, Jared. What'd you do? 123. You got 123? Second place goes to Turbo. Okay, second place to Turbo. Third place to Jared. Jared made the podium. Fourth place to Brittany. Fifth place to Lindsay. Twins, what'd you get? I got like 60,000. 60,000 land, what'd you get? I got like... 70. 70,000? 70, so, guys, Ava, Ava's a little concerned about who won, so I took first place, but I was playing for you, so technically our scores combined means we were like first place together. No, but how much was it? Uh, uh, both of us. You were 17,000 plus my 153,000. She was 37. Oh, you're at 37,000 plus my 153,000. We'll call it 190, 190,000. Let's round up to 200,000. We just set a record. All of us added up over a million. The record. The record. <laughs> Subscribe down below. Get us to a million. Alright guys, I just want to come on, on camera and say real quick that even as I hold my, in fact I gotta like use my other arm to hold this arm up because I jacked my shoulder up so much in Toy Store Mania trying to beat Lindsay. Hashtag I mean, worth it. We're talking just like, <laughs> anyway. We've come over here to Star Wars Land, I think that's what it's called tomorrow, what's it called new guy? We're not, Star Wars Galaxy's people. Galaxy's Edge? Yeah, something like that. It's not we don't love Star Wars, we just don't watch Star Wars, so this stuff's fairly oh, foreign, foreign to us. To us. Yeah. However, we're over here in what is supposedly a pretty cool area. We're gonna go cool. on something called Smuggler's Run. We're told it's amazing, it's fun, it's fast. We're getting hot, we're getting a little tired, but guys. Day's not over yet. Day's not over yet. Pilot is what this lady said. She says I'm a lead because she doesn't think Lindsay's competent enough to actually. She never said that. I thought she said That's that. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Up, down, pilot. Left, right, pilot. I've got my gunners back here. My engineers in the back. You guys, we are going to battle. We are going to smuggle whatever we smuggle in Star Wars. Whatever they do that's illegal, we're doing that I'm now. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm nervous. Babe, you go up, down, I go left, right. It's kind of like a compatibility game. We'll see how compatible we are as a couple to really understand if you what, what we're doing here. I don't even know like, where I am when I'm driving. You play the Pilots, line up behind the train. Now safety, remain seated and supervise young ladies. Por favor, permanezca sentados Ava, I need you to destroy all alien life forms. Do you understand? Get her. <laughs> Ava, kill some aliens for me, girl, okay? Kill them all. Death 
to all of them. Remember, this is your button. That's your hot button right there. All right. Engineers, are you ready? All right, here we go. Let's kick some alien fuck! Back, they may find the resistance. Shoot him, baby, shoot him! Watch out! Oh, that's going to be Oh, boy! Oh, yes, Chewie will pilot us in. Yes, Remote. Yeah. We will retreat to the container. This is will Chewie. greatly help the resistance. You have heard the first order and made Chewie proud. Oh. Now after my modest profit, that would not do what I told it to do. Uh, well, engineers, how do we do? Good. <laughs> I would say we did average. Ava girl, proud of you. Did you kill a lot of aliens? Don't mess with Ava. Guys, we've come back to Slinky Dog for a third time. And finally, Miss Ava chose me. Sort of, I forced her. <laughs> annoying sound in the world. Been here. This is our first time to Disney World. It's been amazing. Now I will say for those that have never been, I'll give you our feedback. If you've been to Disney Land, Hollywood Studios is very similar to California Adventure, and Disneyland is very similar to Magic Kingdom. I would say Hollywood Studios had a lot of things that California Adventure didn't have. There's still enough things that it feels different, but more similar than I had expected. And then of course there's two other parks here, right? Animal Kingdom and Epcot. And we haven't done those. We don't have time to do those because tomorrow we're headed to beautiful Marco Island. We're so excited for that. But guys, we have seriously soaked up so much here. We ended up doing the uh, rock and roller coaster like three times. We did the Slinky Dog three times. We did Tower Terror twice. Honestly, twice. we did so much. So now we're gonna head back to our Airbnb. We haven't spent a lot of time there. We're going to go get some food. Just kind of have a relaxing night. Maybe enjoy the pool, the hot tub. Maybe hang out on the big old couch and watch a movie all together, but the night's not over yet. So guys, we are gonna sign off though here with you now in beautiful Hollywood Studios here in Orlando. Thank you for hanging out with us. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. We're road tripping over to Marco Island. Where you guys the dolphins have, are. Where the dolphins are. You guys have been amazing. Subscribe down below. Happiest place on earth. Thank you for coming with us. We love you. Tonight was so awesome. <laughs> there you have it from the words of a child. All right, guys. See ya. All right. We are off to part two of our Florida vacation. We just finished up an amazing two days in Disney World. First day was Magic Kingdom. Second day was Hollywood Studios. We couldn't decide which park we loved more because we had so much fun in both parks. Loved getting a little taste of Orlando, of Disney World. What a fun place, what a perfect start to our vacation. But now we are on the road, on our way to Marco Island, Florida, which we've never been to before. We are headed to the JW Marriott Marco Island. Marco Island is known for its white sand beaches and for sightings of dolphins. We are so excited. 
excited. Come along with us. It's going to be amazing. JW Marin. Now guys, quick backstory on this place. So we have been wanting to come out here since what spring break earlier this year. Okay. And again, scheduled it's been on our bucket list. Scheduled in the line, the way that the world is right now, made it a little bit harder to travel. And so it's definitely been on our bucket list, but we have finally arrived and it is by far more breathtaking than I think we actually imagined. So Incredible. we want to give you a room tour here right now because it's above all the room tours we've done, this might be one of the one of the nicest. So we want you guys to see this room. It is absolutely incredible. And I don't know if you guys remember the JW Marriott in Cabo San Lucas, but the setup here is quite similar where we're all together, we're all connected, we've got plenty of room where we each kind of have our own private area, but we're all connected. It's a really cool setup. Hello. Hi, guys. <laughs> Can we come in? Yes. yes. This is considered the master of these. So there's three bedrooms in this suite. Let's take everyone with us. Okay, so as you turn left over here, you're gonna see breathtaking views the second you walk into this room. As you come in here, we got a closet, closet. Okay, this is our bathroom, okay? Ginormous. Huge bathroom, nice little wraparound porch over here. So you come out here, we've got ourselves one of two different porches we're gonna, we're gonna check out. So look at these views right away. This way, if you will, into the, the master bed. The master bed. Guys, look how big this space is right here. It's unbelievable. Got ourselves a king bed with a very cool looking uh, headboard there, okay? And kind of a king. feng shui, feng shui look, right? Feng shui. Okay, but look, you come over here, this is my favorite part. Yeah. Views look, from this. both directions. Three, I mean, we're talking 180 degree views here. I almost said 360. We're talking 180 degree views here. We got ourselves a beautiful beach front view. Watch your fingers, Ashley. And then this is the wraparound porch. You come over here, all the way. Mom, this is insane. It's so cool, huh, Land? Yeah. Hey, oh. Hey, girl. Oh, hey, girl. The next bedroom, okay. These are all really three separate hotel rooms that all connect. So this is the three bedroom corner sunset suite. So this is the one of the three bedrooms here. Again, beautiful view. We're talking again, ocean front, beautiful breathtaking views. King bed over here. Again, we've got this little feng shui. I love that you keep pointing out the, feng shui. <laughs> the decorations. Okay, got some barn doors into our bathroom. Awesome little bathroom, nice little private spot here. Se separate entrance. Uh, Ava's wants to point out there's a couch in the corner over there. <laughs> All right, so come with us now. Ava, come with me. Okay, okay. Come on, me. Again, some feng shui. <laughs> okay. We do now the third bedroom, okay? Mirror's pretty similar after that last bedroom. However, we, this is the kids room here. We've got two queens in this room. The we got the feng shui again. <laughs> we'll be in a beautiful bathroom. And then this view is more of a view of partial ocean and full resort view. Ashley, show them this view. Because this is your view. You 
you guys, this place is incredible. We are so excited to spend the next couple days here in beautiful JW, uh, here in Marco Island. We can't wait to hit the pool. In fact, I think that's what we should do right now. What do you think? Yeah! You wanna go to the pool? Totally we blown away. Paradise. We have got two different pools. One of them being a kids' pool over here. We've got beachfront access with dozens, hundreds of chairs. We got wave runners, parasailing. This is paradise. Wave runners alone is blowing my mind right now. Oh my God! Oh my God! Guys, we came out here to take a few pictures kind of pre-dinner and we've already decided this is hands down the most beautiful beach we have truly ever been to. Oh, holds up, ball. Boom! Kids are out here playing, uh, I technically were playing soccer with a volleyball. But guys, white sandy beaches, a cool breeze, amazing views. <laughs> Guys, Ash and I just ran down here to catch a table. We are told that this place in the evening time has nightly fire dancers. Yes, you heard it right. At the JW Marriott here in Marco Island, they have fire dancers at this restaurant called Quinn's on the Beach. So Ash and I came down here a little bit early to assure that we got a table. And as you can see, right behind us is the beach and right behind us will be the fire dancers. So the rest of the crew's coming down. We're gonna eat some dinner, have a blast, watch some people throw some fire up in the air. You guys can just enjoy paradise. This is gonna be awesome. I'm really excited for the food because the food looks super good.
We are wrapping up here. We are wrapping up day one here at beautiful JW Merritt in Marco Hello. Island. What a magical, amazing day this place is. Hidden gem. If you haven't heard of Marco Island, you have to check out not only Marco Island, but JW Marco Island because we are in heaven. Guys, the rooms are amazing. The food is amazing. The location is amazing. The pools are amazing. The sand. The, the sand's sucks. amazing. The beach runs amazing. Everything is truly amazing. We love it here. So guys, thanks for hanging out with us. Be sure to come back tomorrow for day two. We have a very exciting thing going on. We're actually taking a private sailing yacht and shelling excursion, which is really that shelling piece is really for Miss Ava there. She's been dying to find some seashells. And we're hoping that maybe we'll find a family of dolphins. Fingers crossed. All right guys, subscribe down below, smash the like button. See you tomorrow. All right, guys, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to day two here at beautiful JW Marriott here in Marco Island. I am headed down to do a little bit of a workout. The kids are still sleeping. Lindsay and I are headed down to the gym, and then we're gonna head over to the breakfast buffet. They've got supposedly 13 different restaurants here, an amazing breakfast buffet. So we're gonna head down there before we hit the beach and enjoy a little sunshine. swimming in the pool and we're playing a little game, a classic game of Marco Polo. Nando's Marco. Amazing!
Okay, so what do I do? Okay, actually heads up behind you. No, 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 one, two. <laughs> One, grab your knees. Two. What's going on here? <laughs> One, two. <laughs> I'm confused on one more. Anticlimatic. <laughs> All right. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, you guys, so we have got a very fun and exciting activity we're doing here today. We just got picked up by Captain Tom. Now, Captain Tom has lived in Marco Island for 37 years. He says this place is very, very magical. So he is going to be our captain today. We have a sailing catamaran private tour today that our family is going to head out on. And Captain Tom is going to show us the magic here of Marco Island. It's like a little hidden gem in the middle of Florida. These beaches are like nothing I've ever seen. Before. And we're really excited. He says you can't really get an idea for the island until you're out on the water. So we're going to get to see Marco Island from the water today. It's a shelling excursion. Hopefully we'll see some turtles, Turtle, some dolphins. Manatees maybe. Maybe a bit of everything. So come along with us. We're going to have a blast. It's going to be incredible. We're going to capture it on all of our GoPros. We'll put the drone up in the air and just have a good time. Captain Tom has given us the history here of Marco Island, and he's saying us there are 100 miles of these waterways all throughout the island. Supposedly, Marco Island is known as being the fountain of youth. So I'm hoping while we're here, we're gonna get a little younger. But... I don't have high hopes for it. You already look young. I on the hand, guys. I don't know, I just I feel like I'm getting a little old, losing the hair up here a little bit. So maybe I'll come out of the water with a new head of hair. <laughs> On my stomach? Yeah, get down yeah, your you stomach. Have to get down. I can't like be on my knees. Well, if you can reach the water, I can reach you gotta the water. hold it. Put his head in the water. Hold on to him. Don't let him go. Just put his head in the water. You got the GoPro? Okay. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, here we go. We have just jumped on this beautiful catamaran, six-person catamaran. Now, we are headed to, where are we headed, Captain Tom? Where the adventure takes us. Where the adventure takes us. Are you ready for that? Yeah. Are you sure? Do you see those massive tarpon we just fed? Yeah. So we pull up to this place, and this guy's like, hey, do you want to feed these tarpon? And we've done that before, I guess, down in the Keys. These looked a lot bigger, though. They look like sharks. They look huge. 
They're way bigger. Anyway, so I, the guy gives me this dead fish skin. Yeah, I put it in there and man, this thing just snapped it out of the water like a snapping turtle. So we don't want to run into too many of those as we are out on today's adventure. Tina, are you so excited? Do you want to snorkel? No. Do you want to see dolphins? Yes. Hey, about sea turtles? Yeah. Yeah, Turbo, there are some sea turtles here possibly. All right, you guys, we may have had our very, very first dolphin sighting right here spotted by Turin. Of course, give it to Turin. He's either looking for lizards, he's looking for fish, he's looking for some sort of creature. Of course, give it to him to spot the dolphin first and foremost. However, we're hoping that uh, it's not a shark. I thought I it was funny. I saw tail pop up and then he went back down. I'm pretty sure it's over there. Are you sure? You said 100%. 99. No, I will give you 100. You'll give me, you have $100 to give me. If there was a dolphin back there. All right, we've just confirmed dolphin sighting. Dolphin sighting, everybody. Oh, there he is, there he is, I see him. No, you don't. Right there. Where? He's right in front of this, this boat's gonna go right there, he's right there. Oh, I see him. I told you. I told you so, I told you so. I, I, I told you so, I told you so, I told you so. He's right there, you guys. Hold on, I just saw another one back there. There he is, Ava. All right, guys, we're stalking dolphins here. He's right here somewhere. There he is. There he is, right there. Ashy down here living his best life. Woo woo! Then over there talking to Captain Tom, getting the down low on how to sail. All right guys, we just got the word from Captain Tom. What's the proper term to say sail? You put the sail up. Main sail, we're gonna hoist the main! Onward, Captain Tom! I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. Not sure I deserve it. Lando, are you sailing? Yeah. Alright, I got my girls up front. Hi. Alright you guys, we've got dolphins. I repeat, we've got some dolphins. We have an entire pod of dolphins. There's gotta be one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. There must be at least 10 or so dolphins out here. We're gonna see if we can get an underwater shot. We just put the drone in the air. I couldn't see because the sun was so stinking bright. We're gonna see if we can get an underwater shot of them right now. Here we go. Okay, I have no idea if I just captured. I'm so excited to see this footage, whether I got these dolphins or not. Don't expect much. However, we're gonna do one more pass for good measure to see what we can find. I had to leave the drone literally up in the air in a frantic hurry to try, oh, there it is right out of the drone, to try to capture these dolphins. So we've slammed with dolphins before, right? But they've always been, you know, in enclosed areas. We've never really seen dolphins that close up in real life. I love them so much. I kind of like one of them as a pet. <laughs> I would take them. Turin says you want them. I think they'd be a lot happier after indulgence. I, I think would rather live with them. They're just so cute. They all swim together and they're so friendly. Our what captain was saying that there's probably a million stories out there about how they Helped, uh, stranded sailors, stranded sailors to the shore. Helpless swimmers. So I do. I'm curious. So if, if the sibling dolphins like bicker with each other, maybe like regular siblings. <laughs> they didn't look like it. Oh, Ava, we're pulling up to a beach. Look, look. Maybe.
Oh, Ava, he's got bags for shells. You want to pick up shells? How you guys? Captain Tom has brought us out here to a very beautiful island. It's an eight mile stretch of just beautiful island white sand beaches. Now this is a shelling excursion. So Ava's got her little baggie and we're out here looking for some seashells, trying to catch some fish. Oh, Ava found one. Nice. So there's only about six homes out here in total. And they're saying that, you know, unless you bought the land or the home before the 1970s, there is no longer any building or construction out in this area because just they want to protect the wetlands out here. So guys, this this is a pristine, beautiful beach. You can see that the locals as well are enjoying this. Just a fun spot to hang out. Blown away truly by how beautiful this is. If we walk out here to the very peak, the peninsula, the very, very edge of the island right here. You see Marco Island in the distance. And you've just got this just pristine. <laughs> it's amazing. There's the gulf over there. Captain Tom was telling us earlier that you can't really experience Marco Island unless you get on a boat. I would have to agree, you guys. Oh, there's a big seashell. He's gonna love that one. It's huge. Holy cow, there's tons over here. Ava! there all right you guys we just finished up a beautiful beautiful catamaran boat tour through marco island and the neighboring islands and now we're just cruising through some incredible homes one of these homes captain tom mentioned was almost james bond like because the guy's garage opened up it was a water garage opened up over the water so he could park his big boat on the inside pretty stinking cool i've decided on this catamaran tour that marco island is my new favorite place guys it's pretty spectacular out here i've got to say you know we've been to some fun spots as a family and this one is right now at the top of the list in terms of just There's beauty accessibility yeah. things to do yeah it's in florida so there's tons of stuff around it but it's just you feel like you're in the caribbean island you do the sand is like nothing i've ever seen before have we been anywhere where the sand's not that white this soft no. and this white no the water is clear and aqua and it's just amazing it's amazing you guys kiddos did you have a good time yeah. our destination on this tour was a little island called key Waden, and it was paradise out there. It was. People just drive their boats out there and chill because it's just, how do you explain Key Wayne Island? It's just it's paradise just, out Yeah, there. it's just honestly, it's just this little sliver of paradise right there the uh, on warm the gulf. The water warm and clear yeah. and the kids were searching for shells and people were just laying out and having lunch and it, I want to go back. Guys, we are pulling in now to our final destination. We're headed back to the JW to jump in the pool. We actually haven't swam in the ocean much Not yet. yet. So That's we're going to go we're jump in the ahead. ocean, get some lunch. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, you guys, we are officially back to the pool. Just chilling, having a good time. Okay, tell us highlights. What do you think of that boat tour? Fun. <laughs> so fun, huh? Can you believe you saw Ready? dolphins? Set. Backflip. <laughs> we just ordered some food poolside. We're gonna have a little bit of a late dinner is the plan here. Oh, you guys, believe it or not, this is the first time we have been to the beach, I should say, at our hotel. As you can see, hotel right over there, beautiful Gulf of Mexico right here. Turn Bingham, go out for a pass, buddy. Oh.
It's got an actual snail. Second. See it move? Oh. Look how cool a shell is, though. That, that's where the shells come from. The snail is awesome. Well, well, look, he's actually in there. You see him? Yeah. Okay, I don't want that one. <laughs> <laughs> Begun, everyone! Rain! Guys, this reminds me of when Lindsay and I were in Miami a couple years ago and ran in a rainstorm. We love these warm storms. We love them. In this ocean right now, we love each What's up, our life in Holland? What's up, Lando? I love rain. And we'll see you later. <laughs> Lando wants to be a storm chaser. The ocean feels like a hot tub right now. When you get out and the wind blows, it's freezing. You get back in and it's warm. We're hoping the storm kicks up a little bit harder because we want to feel the power of Mother Nature right now. Maybe not lightning though. Right, you guys, we just came out here because Lindsay and Brittany were talking about doing some sunset pictures here. Now, I'm not gonna call them family pictures. We probably crossed over the line to family pictures a little bit. However, absolutely breathtaking. I'm not exaggerating when I say this is the most beautiful beach I've ever been to. And sunset here is something else because there's a reflection in front of the ocean and the sunset is like purple and pink. It's something else. We're gonna have to show you guys the pictures but Brett and Jared are incredible. Jared had the drone flying over us as we were walking along the beach. Brittany was droner. Brittany's taking the most incredible pictures of us. You guys they are so talented and so sweet to do that for us. Guys if you're not following Jared and Britt be sure to head on over to their channel to check them out. They're the cutest. You guys are going to love them. Alright you guys, we just came up here to a beautiful place here at the JW Merritt called 10K Alley. I don't know how we didn't know about this place earlier. However, it is a full on arcade and restaurant. So needless to say, I think we are gonna spend the rest of the evening here because I don't see them getting bored anytime soon. Oh yep, there's bowling over here as well.
Are you kidding me? Mini golf? Ava, how strong can you go? Hit it hard. What? Ava? You're strong. You're not that strong, Junie. Ow. That was like almost perfect. Holy cow. Oh, 25 seconds, Ava. Our channel we have one more day in this paradise of Marco Island we're here at the breakfast buffet getting the sausage and eggs and waffles and pancakes and everything you could imagine God, this is an unbelievable breakfast we so you yesterday we can't get enough of it chia seed pudding overnight oats everything you could ever dream of in a breakfast buffet so today is our last day here technically we check out today however they were kind enough to give us a late checkout guys we're checking out at 4 p.m today you know what that means? It means we got a full day here, baby. So we're gonna still do some swimming. We're gonna go in the ocean and enjoy one last day in paradise. Yeah. Guys, we have made it poolside here yet once again. Something actually kind of cool that we are gonna do today that uh, Jared told me a little bit earlier. So we actually are driving back into the Fort Lauderdale area. We're going to uh, Aventura. We're staying at the JW Turnberry next for the next few nights. One of our favorite spots to go. In fact, we were there back in October. If you guys saw that video, went to an amazing water park. But in order to get back, you have to drive through a place called Alligator Alley. So Jared has told me that around dusk is when a lot of alligators show up and they're literally just on like the sides of the road. So fingers crossed that as we're driving through Alligator this evening, we will see some gators. We can stop and maybe get some close-ups. Not too close though. But in the meantime, we are here poolside. Aren't we, Miss Ava? Yeah. We've got a couple mixed opinions. We want to do beach, we want to do pool, so we've decided to cut it down the middle and just do half and half. So we're going to spend a little time at the pool here today, then we're going to head over to the beach and just enjoy this beautiful weather.
having a blast at the pool. Jared and Brady are definitely the favorites around here. Everyone loves having them with us on this trip. It's been so fun. We never see them anymore since they live in Florida. We've missed them so much and they are truly the best. I'm not sure if it's Uncle Jared or if he's just one of the kids today because he just yelled to Justin, he just hit me again. Dad, he's hitting me. Jared. Oh, 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 oh. Stop fighting. Yeah, you two stop fighting now. Is this monkey in the middle? <laughs> Brady, are you the monkey in the middle? <laughs> yes, I am. I'm sure you can do it. <laughs> oh, I'm in the middle. Uh, left handed. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel so slippery with sunscreen. <laughs> There's a little competition that we've been doing for as long as I can remember. You know what? Sean and I made this up. Oh, apparently this originated with Justin and Sean. Oh, no surprise there. Yes, this is our contest. Basically, you put your legs up on the side of the pool and then you have to scoot out of the pool feet first by pushing yourself up out of the water. Oh, yeah. Go! See you again, That was the closest I've gotten. The real challenge is we gotta do it over there. Hey, okay, uh, show us. Turn up. Go. Go like this. Grab it. Hold on tight. Hold on tight on the outside of your legs. And then... Good idea. I gotta do your feet. Whoa, dude. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that was a valiant effort, dude. Karen asked for the frisbee, so Jared thought, well, we're just gonna throw the frisbee. <laughs> so, let's see how this goes, hang on here. Can you get it out here? <laughs> well, solid throw by Jared. Poor effort on my part. But we got it, Ash. Oh yeah? Yeah, if you have 10 seconds to gather as many shells as you can. I'm in. You get points for unique shells and numbers of shells. collecting seashells. There are so many seashells here. We're playing little games where we have 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 40 seconds to collect as many shells as we can for the biggest shell or the most unique shell. We just played a fun game in the ocean. It got a little competitive out there. It was awesome. Woo! It was a seashell collecting game. So we would count to 20, sometimes 30, 40 seconds. 
and everyone had to collect as many shells as they could. We either did most unique shell, biggest shell, most shells. Colorful. Yeah, most shells. And Ava was the judge because she's the ultimate sea shell collector. I can't say sea shell, shay shells. Sea shells. <laughs> what she said. She's the ultimate seashell collector and I think that she thinks that we're going to take home an entire suitcase full of <laughs> seashells. I can't say it. <laughs> How many times can we say seashells? Should we try it? Yeah. One. Seashells, 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 seashells. But one thing we do love to do is collect sand from all the places that we go. So oh, we're going to really? have, yes, we have so these cool. cute little glass bottles at home. So we're going to collect a little bit in a Ziploc bag and go put it in our little collection. Most of the time we forget, but I can't forget this is like the most beautiful sand oh, I've ever seen. It's powder, you have to take a lot. Oh, yes, oh, beautiful. Never leave us. You guys, we thankfully have a few more days with these guys. You would think that they would be so sick of oh us my by gosh, now. No way. I'm, I'm just so sad to think of it ending. I, I know. I want it to end. It's we so have amazing. never laughed so hard. This has been the most fun trip I can remember in a really oh long gosh. time. Last night the kids were all laying in Jared and Brittany's bed together. All of them. All of us. So there were six people in one bed. They so were playing fun. the telephone game. I literally, oh. my stomach hurt we from were laughing. In tears. <laughs> and then Lindsay and I, we've had some late night laugh sessions as well, where we're just laughing at everything. We're so tired of everything. So funny. Like the next day when we tried to retell it, we realized that it's yeah. really not that funny. Okay. But we literally like were crying, laughing so hard the night before. <laughs> so we're wrapping things up here, but so much more fun to come in the next few days with yeah. these guys. How are you guys? Because I look like I rolled around in toothpaste. Well, I didn't. Okay, I just have nice. 30 SPS sunscreen on. Okay, guys, we are shelling binge. We have more shells than I think the ocean can hold. However, they're top quality shells, okay? So we're gonna open up an Amazon store and start selling sea shells from Marco Island if you guys are interested. They're $1,000 a piece. Obviously, TZ. Okay, here we go. Guys, we just checked out. Guys, we are a hundred percent coming back to this place. It is it's a new favorite. Absolutely breathtaking. It's amazing. It, it definitely wasn't long enough, but we're off on another adventure. Third road trip, actually. Lindsay just mentioned this is the third road trip of our trip. We were just we were just talking to Jared and Brittany about how this has been the most amazing trip ever. We are having so much fun with them. We're just doing a little tour of Florida. Third road trip. Just stopped off at a pizza place. Still Marco Island, and now again, I think I said earlier in the video, we're supposed to drive through Alligator Alley on our way home. Should be pretty interesting. The hope is we'll actually see some alligators, as you can see. However, we definitely got some sun. I'm still rocking. We are all red today. My white sunscreen, which is not going away. We're lobster red, guys. You always comment, wear sunscreen. Legit, I have proof I wear sunscreen. I just get red, I don't know why. We're a little toasty today. It is the I-75 supposedly and really just along like the stops. There's alligators like where you get gas and stuff. So we will see. Jared says around dusk is when they uh, come out. So here we go.
Hold, hold the handle. Push, 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 push. Push. Oh, okay, Larry, go ahead. Wow. Whoa, that's a spin. Whoa. Nice. Hey yo! All right, you guys, we have made it to our destination, and holy cow, I still have sunscreen in my beard. We've just checked into the beautiful JW Marriott Turnberry, which is somewhat near Jared and Brittany's uh, house. However, what's really cool is Jared and Brittany are actually staying with us as well. The party continues! Boom! Guys, third road trip, and uh, what's funny is we were sitting down at dinner, I'm like, I realized this is vacation for us. For you guys, this is like regular life, so at any point in time you need to get back to regular, regular life, just let us know, but we've been honestly super grateful to have them with us the entire Entire time. That's really why we came out here is to visit them and hang out with them. And it they, has been it's been amazing. so fun. It's been just so fun. So we've checked in. As you could see from the previous clips, we did not see any alligators down Alligator Alley. I think I may have caught one with my drone. Anyway, so no alligators, which is fine. We've seen alligators before, but we've checked into our beautiful hotel. We want to show you guys quickly the room just because, again, we like to share this stuff, right? The worst part about today's room is that it's not connected to Jared and Brittany's. Worst part. <laughs> Okay. Oh, wow. So there's your cream cheeses there, and then open this one, young man. There you are. Oh, yeah. So you can move in for a couple of days. <laughs> All right, guys. Good morning. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to a very special day. Something the kids have been dying to do this entire trip. This has been the part they've been the most excited for for our entire trip. We're here at Tidal Cove Water Park. That is part of the JW Marriott Miami Turnberry. Guys, we were here, I think October of last year. Mm -hmm. Kid you not, one of the coolest water parks we've ever been to. And it's attached to one of the most beautiful hotels that we've obviously ever stayed at. And here we are back again. And guys, this place is incredible. The slides amazing. are amazing. The service is amazing. The ambiance is amazing. The food's amazing. They have a flow rider. We've got to show you guys the setup we have here in this beautiful cabana. Okay, we showed up to the warmest welcome. They are so kind here, so accommodating. Our fridge is full of the yummiest drinks. Did they know that I was coming? <laughs> <laughs> the most delicious snacks. It's been a long time since I've seen cheese balls. We've got snacks and cookies over here. And this was my favorite part here last time, that you can order this fruit platter. Is this the most beautiful fruit platter you've And Ava seen? demolishes the dragon fruit every time. She loves it. It's perfectly ripe. Oh, it's so delicious. Always the dragon fruit. Ava loves the dragon fruit. You guys, fun fact. We found out that David Beckham and his family were here on Saturday. Now, can I tell you how bummed Turin is that we missed him by three days, four days? Three or four days, yep. I'm kind of sad. And too. they said nobody knew who he was. They're until speculating. The security detail showed up. And then they're like, that's really him. <laughs> so Jared and Britt are on their way down. They're going to hang out with us most of today. And uh, guys, we're just going to party hard. Ava, are you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> so, if this gives you an idea of our kids and their adrenaline rush expectations when it comes to rides, Ash and I are just chilling here in the Lazy River and he looks at me and he's like, this is slow. <laughs> well, let's just look at the name of this thing. It's called the Lazy River. <laughs> so there you have it. Apparently this is too lazy for Mr. Ashton here. <laughs> oh, I spot some indigenous creatures. Ava, Lindsay. Where are you? Other side. Indigenous creatures, they must have been here for generations. Oh my gosh, man, they look so big. <laughs> I think mean, you meant beautiful. <laughs> Really? Woo! Woo! 
Look who's here! Jared and Liddy! Good Ready to party! Jump on the fly! Yeah! All right, guys, we are having so much sneaking fun here. Landon, I can't get him to stop. As you can see, he's actually up there as we speak. They are over there somewhere. We're gonna have to get Jared up here on this thing. But guys, this water park, first of all, because it's a weekday, lines aren't, really no lines at all, actually. Yeah, there's right. no lines at all. All right, you guys, I'm gonna turn right here and we're about to go down this green Master slide. Blaster. Master Blaster, it's called. Okay, we're ready. The red's not working anymore. Oh, it's not? <laughs> he's joking, he's joking. He's right, joking. how And uh, I feel like we got kind of left by everybody. Yeah, we did. I have no idea where they all went. I have zero clue. No idea. Just you and I, bud. Just you and I. Hey. I guess. We literally just left. Oh, We're wait. Here. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, what's up? Oh, ho, ho, ho. guys, this is my lucky day. I have not been able to spend any time with Miss Ava at all. And so finally, it's just her and I on a tube floating down the lazy river. Ava, tell me your favorite part so far about this place. Um, probably the roller coaster slide. I love it. The roller coaster slide? Is that the green and white one? Yes. You love that one? Yeah. <laughs> Do you love having Aunt Brittany and Jared here? Yes. Aunt Brittany and Aunt Jared? Yeah, but I think it's Uncle Jerry's daddy. Me and Brittany are gonna see if we can go on the green and white one together. <gasps> so are you having so much fun on vacation? Yeah. Yeah. You know that I love you a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Bye. See you. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome I just opened my eyes in the water and I saw you. You did. Get your knees down. One, two, three, go. <gasps> it's so funny. Your face is See, so funny. My face is funny. Your face is funny. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, Jared and I are going together. Here we go. All right, you ready, new guy? Stop being a wimp. 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 Oh, you think you can handle it? Oh boy. There's Jared over there.
everybody in the shadow of death, I do not fire with me. You're running your staff, like comfort me. <laughs> My gosh, most epic ride of the entire day. We all four just took the plunge to our death. Guys, we survived. Jared and I specifically were like, okay, we've got to capture the wise reaction. And I must say, these two combined, <laughs> sheer terror. It's as if they thought we were actually going to die. I did. <laughs> Brittany thought for sure. I did. I thought we were for sure going to die. There was a brief moment where I actually thought we might tip. There yeah. was a sincere you moment really like, okay, that? well, you know, maybe there's too much weight in this tube. You hit something on the way down. I did. You did? Oh, yeah, body. something came off. It's a dead person. <laughs> you guys, Brittany was so brave at Disney World. She was nervous about the water oh. park rides today. Great, really great job. Yeah. So I'm really proud of her for doing that. She was shaking when we got off the ride. Can I just say, so brave and Disney in the same sentence, uh, children can be brave in Disneyland. <laughs> no, no, adults need but to be brave. But she went on rides that I didn't go on. Those are just job. strapped in. This, you're not strapped in. You can just fly off like... Yeah. Really? Nice job! Stop it! Would you like an ice cream cone? <laughs> yes, I would! Have a wowie pop! The guy at the top was not giving us any confidence whatsoever. Uh, I kept saying, we're safe, we won't tip, he right? He did say a prayer for us, which I appreciate. Yeah, but the worst part was, Liz and I went down backwards. So we couldn't see what was coming on the big hill. Oh, how did we awful. end up backwards? I don't know, it was awful. It was time. We, we caught air, too. We did, we caught a little yeah. air. We caught a little bit of air. And we survived. Oh. And we survived. All right, we're having a little girl party in the Lazy River. Yeah. Woo! No boys allowed. No boys. Right, Eva? Yeah. Because girls rule and boys, boys drool. Oh. The boys are off on the crazy water slides. We're enjoying the Lazy River. Ava and I actually went on two rides to start the day off. She was really brave and went down the green and white one. Had a big drop at the end. She was a little nervous, but I told her, if you can do the Disneyland rides, this is nothing. It's got nothing on those rides at Disneyland. Right, Ave? Yeah. <laughs> then we did the little ride that you ride down on a raft. The only thing I don't love about some of the water slides is the dark. Claustrophobic Anonymous over here. Except it's not anonymous anymore because I just shared it with all of you. <laughs> Sorry, this is a girl party. No boys are allowed. What? Sorry, Ash. I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, but... All right, we'll just leave, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Just teasing, you can come hang out with us. Only for five minutes. <laughs> I'm so funny. Is this your new friend? Yeah. You guys going down the ride over and over? All right, you guys, lunch just arrived and it is spectacular. Best poolside food I think you can find, actually. Yeah, super delicious. So, we'll take a little bit of a lunch break here for a bit and then we're gonna hit the slides. Guys, we have like four more hours, so we gotta pace ourselves a little bit. Right, you guys, we came over here to make our own ice cream. Jeff over here and the entire crew at Tidal Cove invited us to come make our own ice cream. So we're in here, we're gonna party up. Look at that. So the kids are super excited that we're gonna build, well, whatever flavors we want. Oh, turns already back there, look at this. <laughs> All 
Uh, excuse me, sir. May I have uh, seven scoops? I am. That's why. If you have a topping on it, you want to leave some space on the perimeter. Or you can just go two flavors and pile it as high as you want. Whatever works, right? Good. So, scoops are here. Now my kiddos don't make a mess yeah. of their beautiful presentation hey, here. All right, Ash, let's see it. Before you dip into your second flavor, remember you're gonna pull it towards you, pull it. There you go, you got it, awesome. Oh, look at that scoop. Hey, rinse your scoop before you dig into the next one. Ashley, rinse your scoop. Close enough. Close enough. <laughs> Look at that creation. Wow. Do you know how to build an ice cream? I did cream? Nutella, chocolate, Nutella, and then I did every single mm. flavor. Marshmallows, M&M's, Oreo, little crumbs. The works. Oh, whose is that chocolate one? Chocolate chips, M&M's. Uh, Landon, yours looks good. Finished up the flow rider and by we I mean Justin and uh, Landon and like Jared. A kid again, that thing is so much stinking fun. They won't let you stand on this one, so yeah, I got to learn how to boogie board, a little kneeboard this today, and it brought back some good childhood memories of kneeboarding uh, behind a boat a little bit, a little bit different feel. However, there's a guy out here, the instructor is very talented, kind of teach me what to do, how to do it. I feel like I picked it up pretty quick. Oh, yeah. by the end, you were like one of the instructors out there. <laughs> I will so say, Landon and Justin, like father like son, both lost their shorts on yeah, the. Yeah, <laughs> we did. <laughs> We gave a little bit, the moon came out early, let's just say that. <laughs> Alright, so guys, the thunder has just begun here. Now, if you recall from- I love storms. <laughs> I just love them. If you recall from- I just love them. Stop it. If you recall from- <laughs> I just Oh love my gosh. We were just- Oh my we gosh, I was talking, now you just got to me We were just hugging in the water and Ava walks up to us and goes, I'm never after. 
<laughs> so guys, last time we were here, the, a beautiful tropical storm came overhead and it's rained harder than I think I've ever seen it rain before. And it was amazing. So it just started to thunder again and then fingers crossed we get another beautiful tropical storm because we love it out here when it rains. There you have it, lightning. And so they're asking us to get out of the pool. We're gonna go chill in the cabana and watch it come. Wishes came true. It's an absolute downpour. An amazing storm. Party in the cabana, baby! Get yeah. Come with me. Let's go. Ah. <laughs> get your hand, get your hand. No, keep going this way. Keep going this way. It's raining! I don't know if you can see the rain, but it's raining right here. All through this. Alright guys, we just got word we are back live. Here we come! It's not working. I'm stuck. It's not working. <laughs> okay, we're, we 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 move machines here. Here we go. No! Ava is braving the slide. She's been a little bit hesitant to do. All day. Well, we're doing it now, baby. Are you ready? Yeah! <laughs> Here we go, Tina. Are you ready? <laughs> it hasn't even started yet. <laughs> oh, goodness. Are you ready? I'm going first, are you kidding me? I told you it was fun, wasn't it? Well, you guys? You can't get enough. <laughs> we are back again. Literally, you just saw us go on it, and she wants to go again. So here we go. Redbird on my bum. <laughs> Second of all, oh, that hurt. I legit almost fell out. <laughs> no, you didn't. I'm not kidding you right now. I almost fell out. Alright guys, this was the slide last time that terrified Lindsay. Uncle Jared's actually entertaining the kids real quick. I'm riding solo, so I thought I'd go give this drop another try. Stepping in. Are you gonna take good care of me? Uh, okay. I don't know why every time this is just scary. Three, two, one. All right, guys, we're wrapping up our time here at Tidal Cove, having an absolute Whoa! blast. Oh, Ash is up. So Ashton, Turin, and some of the others have not actually done the Florida just yet. Woo! So they are out here right now, giving it their first shot, and Ashton's up, he's going now. Guys, there's Landon over there living his best life, talking to the lifeguard. 
Lean it in in case you can't hear him. <laughs> love, absolutely love how he makes friends everywhere. Oh, hey guys, I'm the shorty. Oh boy, guys, we are closing out the evening. We stayed and soaked up every single second that we could here at Tattle Cove. It is almost 8 p.m. The park is shutting down, as you can tell. There's really actually nobody even here. Except for us. But us. Vacation's kind of coming to a little bit of a close here. Don't say so it. Bad. For Jared and Britt, this is the only night they'll actually not be with us you know, since we've been here. We Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. We tried to get him to sleep in our pullout bed. I don't know why they don't want to. Well, all joking aside we are thrilled they are going home <laughs> <laughs> the it's not true we've had so much fun with them oh, I it's been really tolerable so for much. sure <laughs> been very tolerable i don't know how wait. many people you can be with for this many days it's honestly true we've had a ton of fun late at night all together yeah yeah you know what fun. happens they all have the best time watching a good show and they laugh hysterically and then i'm over there like oh. he falls asleep us three hang out such a buzzkill i'm like a total buzzkill time out time out guys Turn Aaron's getting a picture taken with a girl right now. Yes. And Ashton. Oh, okay, snow. and true story. We just heard the lifeguard across the pool talking to Landon saying, don't you think I'm a little too old for you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys come back tomorrow for day two here at Tattle And Co. our anniversary. And our Ooh. anniversary. So we're, I think Lindsay and I might break away, do a little something special. Oh. Brittany and Jared have been kind enough to babysit our children while we are away. You guys, they have like offered to watch our kids their entire lives. They're the most amazing people on the planet. Guys, if you're not following Jared and Britt, head on over to their channel, Jared and Britt, and check out their Instagram. Jared and Britt. <laughs> you guys, they're the cutest. They make the most hilarious reels. You'll love them. Guys, subscribe down below. Thanks for hanging with us. See you later. Bye. Bye. All right, you guys, good morning, good morning. Welcome back. You guys, we are headed down for a private tour of the kitchen this morning. Yes, you heard it right. Jeff asked us if we wanted to have a little private tour of the kitchen because they have some world famous bacon here. So that is where we're headed right now. The kids and Lindsay are down there. I went back to them to grab a few things and we're gonna go over there and we're gonna get a little tour of this kitchen. Apparently they have world famous chef here. There's a steakhouse here, which we might find ourselves at, you never know. But the food here looks incredible. We're gonna have to give it a try, but we're headed down right now to try some of their world famous bacon. I was just lost in the basement talking to the chef there for a minute and turned around and, well, Jeff and the entire crew was gone. So I was just navigating through the hotel now trying to figure out where exactly everyone is. And uh, yeah, well, I was lost in the basement there for a bit, but I think I found my way. I was lost in the basement. Were you really? <laughs> I, I was. I turned around and couldn't see you guys. We are off on a little adventure because today we are celebrating our 16th anniversary. I cannot believe this! 16 years, people! So, believe it or not, it was really hard for us to break away from our kids today. We literally debated over it all last night and all, all this, this morning. morning. It's so silly, too, because the water park is just so stinking fun, first of all. And just being with our kids is so fun and on vacation. It is, and seeing them laugh and have fun. It, honestly, I get to the car, I'm like, Lindsay, are we that much parents, if I can even use that term properly, that we can't break <laughs> away for an afternoon to enjoy our anniversary together? So we're going away just for a few hours. We are taking the advice of Jared and Brittany and going down to Isla Mirada out to Alligator Reef. Which we've heard is spectacular. Yes. 
beautiful teal water, tons of marine life. So we're gonna go do a little snorkeling adventure together to celebrate 16 years of love today. So the kids are going to enjoy the water park today. That's all that they wanna do. They're having so much fun with Jared and Brittany. They offered to watch them today, to hang out with them, and then they're gonna take them back to their place tonight to have a little sleepover. So guys, if you wanna see what they're up to, get over to Jared and Britt. You can see all their adventures at the water park today. We are dying because when Jared and Brittany met up with us this morning, they brought us the most incredible surprises for our anniversary. They packed us this cooler for our boat ride. We've got Cremonelli salami and cheese. We've got sandwiches. We've got drinks. We've got waters. They brought us our own beach bag with towels, sunscreen, wet ones, and the best nerd gummy clusters. How sweet are they? They gave us an anniversary card. She made Justin tear up a little bit. I did. You couldn't tell him I knew she did. <laughs> Justin ordered these on Amazon and had them delivered to Jared's house. How important it was for him to have pit vipers on this trip. I'm partially regretting the order <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> So, they spoiled us, they're the sweetest. Thank you, Jared. Thank you, Brittany. Honestly, cannot believe that they did all of this. Lindsay over here living her best life, working hard on Instagram. Guys, if you're not following us on Instagram, go check us out, see what we're doing. Our life in Holland, 16 years with this woman, everyone. <laughs> Want to know what parents do on their anniversary when they're on family vacation they and they watch, left their kids for three hours? They watch their Instagram stories and remember how sweet and cute they are. Justin's over here crying. Guys, check out Lindsay's Instagram right now of Ava running on the beach with the Taylor Swift song. It's, it's just so precious. I miss them. <laughs> you know what it is, guys. We just actually we just don't know how to be alone anymore. It's not All too these true. Kids. <laughs> All right, you guys, we have arrived. Hi, Marada. So you guys, again, we were deliberating back and forth a little bit. As we pulled in, I was like, yeah, babe, we made the right choice. It's beautiful. Oh, except for that smell I just walked Ooh. through. <laughs> so much. Anyway, so we're gonna go meet our boat captain right now, but guys, this place is unbelievable. Is this your houseboat? Yeah. Right here, you live there. That's it. You kidding. You legit, that's your home. My home. That's why I said, I mean, they live in a row house in Nashville. <laughs> and I live on that. You guys, we are here in beautiful Amarada. Mark, our boat captain here, has just informed us he lives actually in a boat. So not only is he a captain of a boat, I guess he lives in a boat. The there you boat go. life, baby. The boat life. So we are headed out to Alligator Reef, to the lighthouse, to go see, well, whatever we can find. I see you've got cat food here. Is that to feed the fish? Yeah. So we've got cat food because apparently there's cats out there in the middle of the ocean. Exactly. Cat fish. So it's about, what, 20 minutes or so, Mark? Yeah. Yeah? 20 minutes. But guys, this is Mark's life. This is his paradise right here.
You guys, we've made it out here to beautiful Alligator Reef Lighthouse, guys. This is spectacular. Beautiful waters. Oh my goodness. I mean, I don't think you find bluer water. Mark, can you find bluer water than this? You won't find it anywhere. The reason why it's so blue is because of all the sand. There you go. All the sand? All the sand now reflects. Uh -huh. I think it's, now Mark, correct me if I'm wrong, but the sand reflects, right? And then therefore the sun and the sand's reflections gives it that blue look. So Bill Nye the Science Guy, if you're watching this, well, there you go. Bill Nye the Science Guy. That's, that's how this all happens. As clear as can be. You can see right down to the bottom. Guys, we got some locals out here. The lighthouse is gorgeous. We're gonna jump in this water and explore. Mark's gonna take us to where we can see the most extreme wildlife. Isn't that right, Mark? Oh yeah, right okay. here. Right here, here we go. Well, that was 
Un I guess that was unreal. Never seen so much marine life in my life. Never been so brave to swim with sharks. <laughs> they were only nerve sharks, but still, the fact that it's a shark, it just gets in your head. It's all right, I understand. Why well, trust a shark, right? So Mark over here had cat food and he chummed the water for us. As you saw in that moment, all those fish surrounding the camera and myself. Unbelievable experience. Justin was a lot more brave than I was. He would swim down into, I mean, there was just Underneath the lighthouses. Of fish. Yeah. Yes. I don't think I've ever seen so many fish. That might be honestly the best snorkeling I've ever done. And I've been, I feel like we've been in some cool spots. The Hands water. down, the best snorkeling, the bluest water we've ever seen. I just loved being out in that beautiful water. I felt like I was in a swimming pool, but I was out in the middle of the ocean. The water color, the clarity. Oh, so calm and peaceful. And that lighthouse has been there since the 1800s. Yeah, can you believe that? Pirates have driven by that lighthouse, Mark said. I like to wave at them as they pass by. I just can't believe that it's withstood all of these hurricanes. So we've just now cruised back. Mark just gave us a tour of his houseboat that we passed his on the way cave. out. His man cave. It's quite the man cave. I will, I will admit, it's quite the man cave. I love it. Well guys, what do you do <laughs> when you're done having a blast in Ala Morada and you get back to your hotel and you realize you have no kids because they're hanging out with Jared and Brittany. Get in the lazy river. And you come back to the water park. <laughs> so we have moseyed on here. It closes in like an hour. And we have moseyed over here to the water park and we're just Lacing chilling. Yeah, just chilling on our own here in the old lazy river at Tidal Cove. Happy anniversary to us. To us, you guys. 16 years with this beautiful woman. If I'm being honest, she actually gets more beautiful every day. And I'm not a big social media like PDA -er. I'm not. <laughs> in fact, I'm a major anti social media PDA -er. But I'm going to take a moment and just say she really does get more beautiful with each passing year. You're sweet. Love this you. Is <laughs> this is awkward because it's social media. I wish I could say the same about you. Well, I am bald. <laughs> so. What do you think I mean, bald? Bald! Bald, bald! Stop it. <laughs> I'm the lucky one. I am the lucky one. You are bouncing me ever right. in this lazy river. All right, you guys, we're getting ready to go out for a little anniversary dinner. We've been having a hard time deciding where to go because the options here options. are overwhelming. They have every type of cuisine you could ever dream of. They've got Cuban food, Peruvian food, Italian food, seafood, and it's all really good. It's like going to the Cheesecake Factory and not knowing what to order because there's the so many things on so the menu. <laughs> yeah, there's just so many restaurants. However, they the good thing food. is it doesn't really seem like you can go wrong. No, they have a famous steakhouse here at the hotel. So we're still trying to figure out where to go. But we had a great day celebrating together. Thank you again to Jared and Britt because they had so much fun with the kids day. You're gonna have to go and check out all the fun that they had with all the kids. The kids just love them. And we really missed them today, but we- oh, We did. <laughs> but we really love celebrating our anniversary. 16 years with this guy, lucky me. Well guys, thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for all your sweet and kind comments. Be sure to subscribe if you're new here. And come back tomorrow for one more day of vacation. All right guys, good night everybody. So guys, each time we come here, <laughs> Lindsay, she never wants to do the drop off because she doesn't like the, the, the stomach drops, right? Her and Turn don't really love the stomach drops. Turn's conquered it though. Turn's done it a handful of times. Lindsay's the only person with the exception of Ava, obviously, because she's too short. So Lindsay's the only one that actually has not done it yet. So she says, I think I'm gonna do the drop off. So we're gonna have to go up there and watch the reaction of her dropping because it's a rarity that this actually happens. Okay, okay, let's go. All right, you guys, so we are up here right now. The reason I came into the corner is because Lindsay is right behind me about to go. There's Ashton up there. They're gonna go on a tube. However, Lindsay's been asking which one is less scary. Well, I completely flat out lied to her and told her the blue one is less scary. The blue one is actually the more intense, faster and steeper one, and she doesn't know that. We told her the green one hurts your back. <laughs> so she's about to go on one that normally she would probably not go on. And she won't even see this until, well, you see it. I have no idea why I volunteered to do this. Just had a moment where I was feeling it. I'm definitely going to regret this. Oh, this is 
something. Just as bad as I remembered it. I'm sure Justin thoroughly enjoyed that. It's so fast, you can't even see anything. You're just closing your eyes, holding your breath, and hoping that it's over soon. Woo, glad that's over with. See you in the obituaries. <laughs> Alright y'all, this has been by far the favorite for all of us, this little contraption. So here we go again. Okay. Whoa, he's doing the spin. Oh, wait, dad, dad, what are you My goal is to go on this ride with all of my boys. Next up, pull ball. All right, no hands, eyes closed. Just hanging out in the lazy river. I mean, Ava and you, I'm here. And Daddy too. Ava, can we forever talk to you like you're still a little baby? Yeah. The truth is I've been known to have a baby voice. So whether I am using a baby voice or not, it sounds like a baby voice. Because <laughs> everyone's voice sounds different on camera. And right yeah. now when I'm talking, I bet it sounds like a high-pitched squeal. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the way that it is. There's nothing like watching your own voice back on camera. That's where Jared and Brady live.
All right, guys, we are headed to yeah. Jared and Brittany. <laughs> guys, we've never been there. They want us there so bad. Jared's been begging. It's like, dude, stop begging us. <laughs> it's so annoying. But we are finally on our way to Jared and Brittany's house to go see their beautiful home to which they lay their heads, everybody. Are we going up? Guys, we're going up. <laughs> Oh, hello. <laughs> I don't know if I've told this story before, but Jared and Britt lived in this apartment complex when they lived in Utah, and the kids thought it was more like a hotel. Yes, because all the doorways are inside, like a hotel. So Turin said the next morning, he said, hey Britt, could you call down to the front desk and ask them if they can send up more towels? <laughs> We were dying. It was the funniest thing. I was like, Turbo, this isn't a hotel. We just live here, buddy. Ava, but I can get you more towels. I got to show them the clip right now of Ava going, it's like a hotel, but it's like a house. Turin, so you took a shower at Jared and Britt's this morning, right? Did you call down for more towels? No, I left it in the car. <laughs> that was not me. That was you. Brady, did you guys call down for more towels today? Oh, you know what? The name is washing them right now. <laughs> Fresh, clean, warm towel out of the hole. Oh, yes, look at him. Look at him. Hi, puppy. Look at this place. Oh, my gosh. This is even more beautiful than in your videos. Look, this is. Oh, yeah. I don't even have one. No wonder they think they're at a hotel. This is. Look at this view. It's very good. You guys, I've seen their beautiful apartment in their videos over and over again. I've seen pictures, but none of it does this justice. It is so gorgeous. The views, the decorations. Brittany has made this apartment so beautiful. It makes me want to move in. <laughs> when we got here, Brittany had all of these sandwiches and fruit and chips. Just the most incredible hostess you could ever ask for. Party time! Best friend didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space. We just got here to swim at Jared and Brittany's pool, and you guys, we are dying. This is so fun. This is like the most gorgeous pool with the most gorgeous view. We cannot believe their life here. It's incredible. It's so fun. We love it. I mean, really, love it, love you've it. got to feel like you're on vacation every day. Do, like this breeze out here, lost. I'm like, I could get used to this. I know. I'm it's moving in. Yes, please do. We want them to move. The problem is I come with five other people. That's okay. They're pretty cute though. Okay, seriously, look at the view behind me right now. The ocean's back there. This is amazing. Okay, ready? Oh, Ava's living the life. Come on, come up here. Look at this first class service right here. Are these your pool boys, Ava? Pool boy number one, pool boy number two, pool boy number three. There you go. Roll it more, roll it. Oh my awesome. <laughs> Okay, this one I won't help. I can make it go We go to the pool. Landon always makes a new friend. It's one of my favorite things about him. Landon has probably made over a million friends in his lifetime. Today I like to call it a day out with Jared and Brittany. We started the day, we started it seeing their beautiful apartment. We got to swim in their pool. We got to go take a walk where they walk fin, ride scooters, ride bikes through their beautiful neighborhood, swim in their beautiful pool. And now we are headed out to dinner at one of their favorite places to go out to eat. It's called Louis Bossi's, an Italian place. 
Italiano. And if you don't know this about us already, we love good Italian food. They said everything here is homemade and we are so excited to try it. Welcome to Miami. <sighs> Worst part of the trip right here. Guys, there are some mixed emotions going on here. No mixed, all sad. Well, I was gonna say the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, we have had so much fun this entire trip. We just did the math. We've been together for nine days straight. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Nine days, you and guys. And I still like them. <laughs> and I think they still like us. <laughs> Honestly, it's been bliss. It's been so much fun hanging out with these guys. It has gone by so fast. Yeah. And you think back what we did. We arrived here, then we drove to Orlando. We did Disney for two days. Then we went to Marco Island, so drove long. all the way across yeah. the state to Marco Island, yeah. hung out there, and then drove all the way back here to hang out. Lindsay and I went down to the Keys. We have just done so much while we were here. Yeah, we packed it in. It was one yeah. heck of a trip, you guys. Yeah. So much fun. And these two made it so much more fun. Are you here? And you might tuck it out. <laughs> 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 what? Everybody popped up. <laughs> and we polished off the night with one of the best Italian meals I think Lindsay and I have had in a very, very long time. I thought she was going to see. So we loved downtown Fort Lauderdale. We fell in love with Florida this trip. Well, that's the thing. I think we've decided that we kind of need to come back because there's so much more to yes. see yes. that we're going to have to come back and see your guys' place. Seriously, it blows me away. It's like you literally live on vacation. Yeah. Like you live in a vacation area. Yeah, you live in a vacation area. You're on vacation every day. You don't even have to work ever. <laughs> but really, you guys, we had the most amazing time. We love these guys so much. They made the trip so special, so much better than if we were just with our family. And we're just so grateful that we got to come see them. We love you, Jared and Britt. We love you guys. Thanks for coming. We're going to miss you so yeah, much. Like crazy. Seriously. We don't want to say goodbye. We will be back. <laughs> you know, hey, you. kiddos. What do you say to Jared and Britt? <laughs> guys, thanks for hanging out with us for these last nine days here in Florida. You guys are amazing. Subscribe if you are new to our channel. Smash that like button. See you guys tomorrow. See ya. See ya. Good morning and welcome back to our channel. This is what 4.15 in the morning looks like. <laughs> Unless you're Justin. And then that's what 4.15 in the morning <laughs> If you're wondering if last night this happened. It happened, everybody. It did. It happened prior because Lindsay encouraged it to happen. <laughs> this outfit's amazing. And we debated on it because we thought, I don't know if he'll ever have a chance to wear something like this. And then we thought, you know what? It, it, but when the opportunity comes, It would have been amazing be ready. 10 days ago, not traveling back to Utah, but hey, went in Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> <laughs> all right, boys, since this is your first time being up at four in the morning, how does it feel? I'm always actually, it actually doesn't feel as good as I thought it would. Does it feel as good as you thought? You thought it would feel good? I thought it would just I would feel cool, but I'm actually more tired. <laughs>
Yeah, it's pretty tiring. Ava, how does it feel to be up at four in the morning? Tired. <laughs> Tired. It's some pretty beautiful bed head. You wanna see what it looks like? Turn around and look. Is that funny? <laughs> Right, we made it to the airport. We are in the security line and I'm seeing something I don't know that I've ever seen before. It looks like the x-ray machine is down. None of the luggage is moving through and the lines are at a complete standstill. So hopefully they get it up and running soon. But thankfully we're doing much better on time today and the airport is not nearly as busy as when we flew here. Labor Day weekend is long gone and it's so dang early in the morning. <laughs> You're sitting there looking half asleep. All right, the security line is moving, but it's moving very, very slowly. We had a little mishap. We got up to the, the lady that takes your ID. My boarding pass was not connected to my ID, so I had to run all the way back with Turin, and the rest of them waited for us. Thankfully, it was very fast. Now we just need to get through the security line, and we'll be on our way. And it's now 6 34 p.m. No, a.m. <laughs> I'm trying to think, but nothing happens. <laughs> we got stopped at security because of this guy. I'm the bad boy. But the truth is, he didn't do anything wrong. He's just guilty of being a good student. <laughs> Lots of pencils and pens. He thought for sure that he lacked cologne or a bottle of water. We waited forever for them to check the bag, and they pulled out his pencil case of the homework that he brought on this trip. So there wasn't actually anything in there that wasn't supposed to be in there. <laughs> We have made it back to Utah. And I'll be honest, every time I land back in Utah, there is a sense of gratitude for sure for living here. We love it here. We definitely miss Florida, but we do love it here. What I want to know is how did it feel walking through the airport in that today? <laughs> 
I had to uh, walk confidently, let's just say that. <laughs> let's just get a good look at this real quick. Guys, I will say this will be the first of many outfits. I'm in love, I love them. So we're gonna buy all matching ones for the kids. They won't wear them, but. We met a lady in the elevator and we told her we came from Florida and I said, can you tell by his outfit? And she said, you know what? That outfit screams confidence. <laughs> or insecurity, one of the two. <laughs> so flight was actually pretty darn good. Ava fell asleep on my lap, which was really kind of cute and tender. I don't get those moments very often. Ashley just chilled. Our little row was pretty content. Ava didn't get up once. We watched a couple movies. It was actually a pretty chill flight. I was a little hesitant to do the early morning flight, but it ended up being actually fairly relaxing. And we've arrived now in Utah it's at 9.30 in the morning. We chose that flight because it was the only direct flight of the day and direct flights make it so much easier. But I will tell you, we got up really early, as you know, 4 a.m. Florida time, which is 2 a.m. Utah time. And I didn't think I could sleep sitting up, but I did today. Oh, and you wanna know why? Because did you, you should have videoed me. Because every two or three minutes, I would do that thing where you're like, head falls. Or you just wake up and panic, what, 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 what? what? year is it? <laughs> I'm pretty sure my mouth was open, but yeah, I, my head just kept bobbing. It was hilarious. So guys, we are off home now to pick up Miss Annabelle and just kind of relax and enjoy before we start the daily routine back tomorrow. We're so excited to see Annabelle. This is the longest she's ever been away from us. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 